What's up guys, in this video I will be reviewing a Grace UX aka Note 7 ROM running on a J7 2016. A couple of days ago I showed a video that how to install it on your J7 2016 and many people is asking about to review it. So I thought this is the video that you can find it and anyway so by the time of watching this video so I have uh, installed a new update so this update contains no bugs meaning everything is working fine so in the earlier versions of this ROM uh, there are some features that are not working like royalty camera is all the main bugs that are not working but this build uh, everything is working fine you can use it as a daily driver without any problem so let me go ahead and firstly like, quickly go to the settings and I'm going to show you the uh, build number that is running on if you go to the about device and if you go to the software information you will find the build number which is evo grace 1.2 so go ahead and flash this on your j7 2016 and watch that video how to flash it and download the latest update um, I, will, I leave the link for the new update uh, uh, down this video description you can find it and install it and talking about the features, the camera is not fixed. If I double tap the home button, so let me go, uh, there you go. If I double tap the home button, so this will gonna be a bring up the uh, camera. So this is really good. If you swipe to the right, you are gonna be get all of the toggles um, that you can control, um, that you can manipulate the different settings that are available. If you swipe to the left, you're gonna get you're gonna get a bunch of uh, presets or filters, whatever you can say. So you can add it. And if you can also click on the download, that will gonna be take to the Galaxy Store that you can install it more. And you can also take a snapshot. Very working properly. If you go to the settings, there are some of the options are available that you can say cheese, capture, shoot, and record video um, that's actually working properly and if I go back and um, the one thing that I was shocked about is it has the edge screen features really it's a though it's a 5.5 inch a flat display it's not an edge but you can get the edge features like this you will really gonna be amazed when you see this feature because this is really insane I never thought that this features were gonna be come onto the a flat display like this there's a big display that i'm really happy about it as you can see uh, you can swipe across to the uh, different screens you can also turn on the uh, uh, flashlight like this you can also uh, adjust the intensity or levels that's going to increase the intensity as you can see that's a really very useful features um that are really samsung but whoever actually uploaded this rom and uh, thanks to the uh, developer for making this possible Oh my god i i don't expect this onto the j7 and if you go to the settings and you can also uh, download the uh, more panels that are available it's going to be click on the download it's going to take to the galaxy store and you can find the a lot of panels are available and you can download it and you can set it and another thing is the most needed feature for this uh, gigantic display is the multi-window feature is missing in the stock android but this rom will going to be fulfill all of your needs if you hold the multi-window button and then it's going to be bring to add the apps that's going to be run as side by side let me go ahead into youtube i'm going to open the internet and you can run it on a side by side this is really very good you can also uh, have uh, some of the options here that you can simply going to be replaced it's going to be replaced from top to bottom and you can also adjust it and uh, you can also a uh, what's i the uh, run the app anywhere like just like a floating app floating app like this and you can go ahead and do whatever you want so that is really very good if you don't want you can simply minimize it it's going to be take to the full screen and then that's a really good feature and why is over lte is working i um, lte is working obviously i'm in the geo 4g as you can see everything is working fine and um, if you let's talk about the notifications and notification settings are pretty much changed and you will no longer gonna be a uh, scroll across the widget toggles so in order to view of the toggles you have to simply swipe down that's gonna be bring all of the toggles and you can also see the search button you can also search by voice and there are the options are available and also if you click on the down arrow button it's gonna be take to the a uh, uh, much more options about each of the two goals so that's really good and if you go to the settings there are a bunch of features like general if you go to the uh, what say there are the device maintenance is a new feature so as you can see it's completely updated if you click on the storage and uh, everything is good and battery 
it is also good it's nothing um, nothing very great but it's okay uh, it's gonna be get your job done properly and uh, it's gonna be eat a more amount of a RAM I don't know and um, sometimes it seems to be a buggy so it's not actually a completely a full build uh, sometimes it's gonna be a lack of animations uh, it's gonna be struggle a little bit but I you I'm using this widget so this will gonna be optimized automatically in the background if you click on the optimize it's gonna be clear all the caches and RAM memory that's gonna be make your apps uh, running and opening speed will gonna be improved with this widget I don't know I think it's working from my in my side and maybe you can try it and if you wanted to and um, that's it that's about this video so I thought that uh, I want to make a review about this and uh, yeah, if you if the new update comes up, I will gonna be update um, the links uh, in the description of this video, and you can also watch it. That how can you install that video first? You can watch that video, and then uh, download the latest ROM and flash it on your J7 2016. By the way, flashing this Evo Grace, let me go ahead and show you the flashing this Evo Grace 1.2. This will gonna be automatically gonna be root your device by default, and then as you can see, the Super SU is also available. There go super sg is also available by default it's is a rooted rom and then that's it that's about the video and if you liked it give a thumbs up and if you don't like it just like this video and anyway and i will see you in my next video until then bye bye now